Dear brothers and sisters of CBCGL, this is Minister Ben. On behalf of Mandarin Ministry, uh, I'm reporting to you what we have done this year and what our plan will be for next year. First, let me begin with an acknowledgement of all the important contribution from all co-workers. On this slide, as you can see, uh, in the left is the Elder Sean, in the middle is Deacon CJ. So I nicknamed ourselves as the Trinity of Mandarin Ministry because we really work as a unified team to decide and actually we meet every week at one coffee shop uh, to uh, discuss and debate and to decide all the ministry. So it's a so all the ministry, actually, it's a, a unified work <laughs> among all of us. So, uh, so I really appreciate uh, all the uh, effort that we come together and work as a team. So this is a photo taken at uh, MMC retreat in September. And not every coworker was here, so not everyone is shown here. Uh, uh, I would like to appreciate uh, all the contribution from every co-worker. So here in this photo includes the Elder She and the Xiang Ke, and Elder Xiang and the Dr. Tong, Elder Ming and Mei Chun, and also the fellowship leader, uh, including Liu Li and Dong Yuan and Zhang Yue, uh, Guo Xu, Li Na, Caleb, uh, and also there's some UML fellowship co-worker. Uh, Elsa is not here, Wang Qing is not here either, uh, and Hong Mei uh, Chuan Dao is here. So also we have a, a, like a local outreach deacon, Wu Ya Zhu here, and also, uh, Elder Me is in charge of the global mission. And also, uh, we have uh, education, DRI, Su Fen, and the Ting Shuo. And last but not least, uh, is our, my wife, Chiu Xiu Jiang Chuan Dao. Uh, in almost everything I do at this church, she is an important part of this one. Right? So, uh, appreciate all the contribution from every co-worker again. Uh, we have quite a few um, variety uh, of ministries so uh, that cannot be presented here due to the time limits. Uh, I would like to just give some of the highlights of this year. So the, high, uh, the main direction we're taking this year, including uh, discipleship groups, and outreach, then prayer. So I will start with our uh, small groups uh, to give you some updates. So we actually have uh, chosen uh, Brother Rick He as our uh, micro group DRI. And he has done the really extensive survey and also detailed analysis. So in last year, we had a promotion gathering uh, about this microgroups. As you can see, we still have quite a few uh, small groups that started and ended this year. So I would like to uh, thank all the brothers and sisters who participate in this uh, important church uh, activity. So, and we have seven groups that have finished this year. So we hope to have more small groups in next year. So in addition, uh, I also appreciate Elder Xie uh, started a Sunday school course uh, naming Dai Chu Jian Kang de Xiao Zhu, leading a healthy small groups. Uh, and also uh, Minister Hong Mei, uh, Sister Elsa and the Su Fen uh, co-teach this course. So we hope those uh, students can become the whole groups of the small groups uh, in coming year. 
So next, I will go to our outreach. So we have a couple outreach activities ongoing uh, uh, from the Mandarin Ministry. The first one is the UML Student Fellowships. Uh, we have this student fellowship has been uh, ongoing for decades. Right? So, but this year, because of the pandemic, uh, all the uh, gathering are uh, conducted in online uh, formats. Uh, of course, the attendance from the seekers dropped significantly, uh, but I appreciate some of co worker uh, for instance, uh, Zhang Huang actually uh, held a couple outings, and so there are more uh, seekers attended. And also, the co worker decided to come back to the in person gathering uh, in the past two months. So more seekers actually attended. So we hope that we can continue to lead those seekers into Christ. Also in January, we have a very good celebration of Chinese New Year, even though uh, it's in the time of the pandemic. But thank God that we have uh, succeeded uh, of this event. Uh, we hope that we have more chance to interact with our Chinese society around the church. Uh, the next one is the Alpha course that has been uh, started at the end, uh, from the beginning of this year. We are very grateful. There are quite a few uh, co-worker, brother and sister who attended the training courses. Then a few of them continue uh, to, uh, when the real Alpha course started, they serve on the, at a different role, uh, including a leader, worship leaders, and sharing their testimony, and also lead a small group discussion in all parts of the activity. So as you can see, we actually have five different groups. Uh, uh, God bless us with 10 uh, seekers. So we are grateful that some of them accept Jesus Christ as the Savior along the class. Uh, several are still seeking. So right now, it's important that we find a way to keep follow uh, those uh, seekers and the new believer. So the third uh, ministry is the prayer. So I have to admit that uh, this is part of the ministry that we probably have to work more on. So right now we have a prayer meeting every Wednesday night. Uh, the attendance is about uh, roughly 20 people every week. Uh, it's only uh, because uh, I think the uh, Mandarin congregation, uh, the size of Mandarin congregation is about 180 to 200, right? So that means we have only about uh, Ten percent of brothers and sisters who attended uh, the prayer meeting. So we hope the number we keep increasing in the future. So in addition, we also have a prayer meeting every Sunday morning. Right now, there are about seven people who attended. So this can we hope that there are more brothers and sisters who can come to pray for our Sunday worship as well. And in addition, uh, I and uh, two sisters, uh, Amy Chong and Li Juan, started a uh, Sunday school course on prayer. Uh, we are thankful that we have 14 brothers and sisters who are attending this course. We hope that this will form a core of the prayer team of our uh, Mandarin ministry in the future. So in, through this course, we hope to both deepen and, and uh, uh, widen the prayer, their prayer life so they become a uh, really core of the our Mandarin ministry for prayer ministry. So next I will go to the vision for next year. So again, uh, the important ministry is important, doesn't matter when, right? So we'll continue to strengthen the micro groups. Uh, hopefully we can uh, set up more uh, micro groups in the future, but due to the pandemic, we also see the needs to have uh, uh, a different type of uh, uh, groups as well. For, in for instance, focusing on more caring 
of the needs of different people. So, and also uh, we are planning to have a follow up groups for those seekers who attended the Alpha course uh, in the past uh, month. So hopefully they will form a, a continue to be part of our church incorporate uh, into our daily, uh, weekly uh, Friday fellowship. So in addition, I think the attendance of our fellowship is only about half right now. So we hope that we can uh, revive the whole fellowship so that more brothers and sisters will attend it uh, in next year. Uh, we'll start uh, with some uh, survey and also the brainstorming uh, with the co-worker uh, so and find a good way to uh, attract more people to attend. Yeah. And the, one of the new things that we'll start in the next year is to have a Saturday night forum. Uh, I will invite brother and sister to share the expertise in their profession and to and also to include their own testimony because everyone encounters some kind of a difficulty uh, in the work and in so uh, we like to share how God helped them uh, to cope with those uh, challenges in their work and thrive uh, so using this as a platform to invite uh, non-believers and seekers to attend uh, for them to get acquainted with the churches. So when we have the Alpha course, it will become uh, a pool that we can invite them uh, to join. This is kind of a seeding ministry uh, in terms of outreach. Right? And the next would be to improve our prayer meeting quality. Uh, we'll start to invite uh, brother and sister to participate to uh, lead the prayer meeting and we can see some difference um, and people got more interested and more uh, willing to be part of the prayer meeting so we'll continue to do that and also uh, we believe that in-person uh, worship is actually better than the online worship form so we're planning to have a first stage reopening of physical uh, Sunday worship service from November. Uh, of course, we'll start with the small size of people and adjust according to the pandemic condition in Massachusetts, then decide for the next uh, step. And hopefully when my brother and sister come back together, we have a, a better quality uh, in terms of worship. Mm. And of course, there are more ministry we're going to do, but uh, this is a highlight that we plan to do in the future. We hope that God will bless us with more fruitful uh, outcome. Okay, I will stop here and see you on Sunday. Bye.